Live from Brooklyn Heights, New York, it's NEC basketball as the Terriers of St. Francis, New York, play host to the Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State. We are live from the Pope Physical Education Center on the campus of St. Francis, New York. Hi again, everyone, along with Phyllis Mangina. I'm Matt Harmon. Nothing up on the scoreboard quite yet. Nice drive, the dish down low, and the layup for Arbogast gives Central the 2-0 advantage. Abe will drive down the right side. A block, count it, and the foul. Good take to the basket. Late rotation by Jessica Kaufman. Watch us down the lane. We'll kick it out. That's Rachel Chandler to hit the three. Just checked in at the last time out. Chandler, the senior from Dayton, Ohio. First double-digit lead of the night for the Blue Devils. Slice back quickly the other way. Snower down again for Snower. Good turn to the basket. That time counted in the foul. Good strong post move by Kim Snower. Shot clock winding down. But hey, forces one, gets it to go as the shot clock expires. Well, attitude. Good feed and inside. Hustle. Vinay, the catch, the shoot, and the goal. So Central will take a 32 27 advantage into the locker room. And coach, it seems like a tale of two halves there. Your team started out rather quickly. Nice crisp passes moving up the floor at, at your pace. But, you know, something kind of happened there. The, the second half of that half, they slowed things down and got back in it. What changed? Well, I think, you know. Kaylee picking up her second foul kind of hurt us a little bit, so hopefully we'll be all right going into the second half because she really pushes the ball up the floor, and she really helps us with our transition. But a couple things. One, we have to really rebound the ball better because when we rebound and run, we're good, and I think we have to continue to try to get the ball into our post and, and penetrate because when we're able to penetrate and get it into the post, good things are happening. Coach, uh, they had a fast start to Central Connecticut State to this game, and at one point during one of the timeouts, you told your team this was the most explosive uh, team that you guys have played all year, but you managed to slow them down, cut an 11-point deficit to five. What was the key to slowing them down? I think just our level of intensity. You know, we, we really take a lot of pride in our defense. Uh, we get after teams a lot of aggression, and we were completely flat tonight. So that needs to pick up extremely uh, large in the second half in order for us to be successful. And you mentioned to me uh, the other day when we chatted, one of the improvements you were looking for towards the stretch run here was finishing. How do you manage? What are the keys to finishing this game here today? Well, you know, you saw the first half. We had a lot of weak shot attempts. Uh, you know, post players going up soft, guards not going up strong as well. We need to be much more assertive on offense get in there, make strong moves, uh, rebound the basketball, and then we'll be in good shape. Thanks very much, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. Far sideline. Now it's Kaufman. Driving. Tosses it up over the shoulder. Gets it to go. And the foul. Raise the side part of the rim. Running the floor well. Arbogast. Catch, oh. shoot, and the basket. Watch us. Great <laughs> move to the basket. An electric first step. Here's Babe on the drive, dumping down low. Dahman with a nice catch and shoot from inside. Kaufman, nice speed. Vinay left alone and gets the easy one from the inside. She's up to 17. The ball down low. Kaufman posted up and gets the basket from the right side. That's great execution out of a timeout from St. Francis. And a better shot from Kaufman over Dahman, the shot blocker. And that is where we will sit as that last basket does not count. Central wins it by a comfortable 16-point margin. All right, thanks, Matt. We're here with our player of the game, Jacqueline Babe, a 22-point performance here tonight. Jacqueline, you know, last year you transferred from Duquesne. You had to sit and watch, uh, you know, the entire season. Um, but what, what did you learn during that time about the NEC, about Central, about yourself, that helped you transfer into this year? Because you haven't missed a beat so far this year. Um, well... Anywhere you go, like, there was not that much of a difference from the A-10 to the NEC. There's still, like, every player is still quick. Every player is still very good and very talented. You just have to, like, I took my time um, in my redshirting year to, like, work on my scoring and work on my shot, and I think it's carried over and it's helped. Your sixth 20-point performance of the season here tonight. What, what is your uh, evaluation of your performance here tonight and the team's performance? I think we really just played as a team. I mean, my team got me the ball when I was open, but we just we shared the ball very well. We weren't selfish at all, and I think it was an overall like great team victory. For you this weekend, second straight game going the distance, playing all 40 minutes. I'm wondering, are you tired at all? Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm looking forward to a nice two days off. <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to give us another 40 if Coach asked you to go back out there? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> but.
Now, what, what are your thoughts on, uh, on the Quinnipiac Bobcats? After those couple days off, you have rivalry week coming up next. What are your thoughts looking ahead? Uh, it's a huge weekend for us. They're a great team. They're, like, their record doesn't really show it either, but they're just a very good team. Uh, they got really nice defenders, and they got some scores that can like knock down three-pointers. So we're going to have a really tough weekend coming up, but we just have to come out ready to play. Now, before I let you go at the Super Bowl, Eli was asked like crazy about his injured brother. So let me ask you about your injured sister. What's what's her status on the on the ankle? Can we see her back on the court soon? We're hoping that she's back for the Quinnipiac. She's making her way back now. She's uh, warming up with us. She'll, she makes some reps into practice. So we're hoping that she can be back for the Quinnipiac. Well, congratulations on the game tonight, and we'll see you next weekend. Thank you. That's Jackie Babe, a 22-point performance tonight, our player of the game. And as uh, we get set to bring in Coach Burl Piper, <laughs> Coach Piper, we heard from Jackie uh, also. Kirsten had a big game here tonight as well. Uh, your thoughts on their performance? Well, both of those kids are leaders for us, and we really need both of those kids to step up right now. Um, the rest of the team, we're so young, starting two freshmen. So obviously, if those two kids are playing well, it really helps our young kids have confidence. So that's really important for us. And I'm sure it's also important for them to, to kind of you know pick things up a little bit, considering a young team to begin with, as you mentioned. But with the injuries, you know, the players have to pick up some minutes and some time as well. Right. I mean, I think for us today, it, like the big thing was that we were able to run and score in transition. I mean, I think that was something that we focused on in, at halftime was that we have to continue to rebound and run and and getting, you know, other different kids to score and make good plays. I mean, Kaylee's doing a really good job with Jess being out and Danny's doing a great job defensively, especially. She's just doing a really great job for us right now. So we're happy and you know, to come away this weekend with one win is good for us right now. I mean, we we definitely didn't want to lose two. So this was, you know, in their in their gym, it's a long weekend. It's a great win for us. Now with six games left to go in the season, three weeks, uh, your team, you know, right in the thick of things with a host of other teams, you know, fighting for uh, one of the last couple playoff spots. But your team is, even though it's different different players, have gotten to the semifinals the last three years. So, you know, what, what are your thoughts? What do you need to see from this team here the next uh, three weeks to position yourself accordingly for the tournament? Yeah. Well, obviously we have a tough stretch. We have Quinnipiac twice, and then we have to travel to uh, St. Francis and Robert Morris, which, you know, that's that's not easy, you know, to have that stretch ahead of us. But I think, you know, these games that we've, been make, we've played and we've been able to win without Jess playing, without Brooke playing, have been huge for us. I think that our young kids are just, they have more confidence, and we're going to be able to go to our bench. And if we can get in the tournament, people are going to be afraid to play us. And that was a perfect segue for us because we'll see you now on Saturday uh, here on NortheastConference.tv, 1 p.m. to play uh, the first of two against the Quinnipiac Bobcats for Rivalry Week. Your thoughts about that matchup? The Bobcats have been playing really well. Yeah, I mean, they're just putting a lot of points on the board, so obviously our defense is going to be huge. But, I mean, they, are, they, they shoot the ball, they run, and they have a lot of different kids that can score. So, I mean, we're just going to have to be able – defense is going to be key. It's been key for us all year. So if we can – you know, cut down in their point production that will help us. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. We look Thank forward you. to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you. All right. Big win for the Blue Devils here tonight. 16 point victory over the Terriers in New York, and they'll get set to welcome in the Bobcats and us here on NortheastConference.tv Saturday, 1 p.m. for Rivalry Week. Matt Harmon, back to you.